this is how I play the game! Sound good? I'm back from my time off. I had almost a week away from live streaming. By the way, I really desperately need the money to help with my tax situation. So, hint hint, save the house. A silver tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just gonna say it one way and hopefully you'll believe it even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. From vlogging, from gameplay, in order to celebrate the holidays a little early with my girlfriend. <laughs> We had a ton of fun. We did so much fun stuff together. It was an amazing, you know, five days of just constant holiday-themed stuff and decorating and so much fun. Um, I actually have already filmed a vlog where I walked through my entire house showing off all the stuff that we decorated and did over the course of uh, this week. That vlog will be going live this week right here on the King of Hate vlog. So if uh, you're very interested in maybe the stuff that we did, you're going to want to check that out. <laughs> Yes, I have fully decorated the office. And by the way, I would like to say an extra special thanks while I was away to those who checked out all the new videos that I did make live on DSP Gaming while I was not live streaming. It's very much appreciated that you guys still came out to check out all the videos, especially when I wasn't there daily to put out new content for you. At least there was some, you know, revenue coming in from, uh, you know, kind of the... the residuals from from youtube and the like um and also i do want to say thank you some people actually went out of their way to go to my my twitch page my twitch channel and to cheer and actually sub and tip me i even got a few tips during the time that i had off thank you guys for that i need th that money i really do i need that money to pay my bills thanks for the money dummies because that's exactly what you fucking are a bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> wow. I hate to say it, Patreon. Yup. They're following in the footsteps of YouTube. I'm not a whiny baby. And whenever someone follows in the footsteps of YouTube, it means you fucked up. And I'm sorry to say that during the holiday season. I'm doing my best to maintain a positive demeanor and be happy, but I gotta be, you know, straight talk matter of fact with you guys. Patreon has instituted a change by which they are making it more expensive for people to pledge. Now, what I mean by that is I guess what they're doing is they're trying to take as many of the fee, the transaction fees and the like that have to do with pledging. And they're putting it upon the pledgees rather than the patrons. Let me explain what I mean. Okay, not, excuse me, the, the content creator. So, for example, I have a Patreon right now. You know, I want to pledge five bucks to Phil. You pledge five bucks to me, great. It counts as a five buck pledge, but you, I don't actually get five bucks from that. What happens is Patreon takes a cut. There's a transactionary cut, depending on how you paid. If you paid for your bank account, credit card, etc., all the, a cut comes out of it, and then finally I get a final amount after it. It may be like four dollars and twenty cents or whatever. Who knows what it is? But basically, I get a cut of everything that's pledged to me on Patreon. From what I'm to understand, what Patreon is now saying is they're trying to take most of the fees and transactionary things behind the scenes that you guys don't know about and put it on you, the pledgee. Meaning, oh, I want to pledge $5 to Phil. Well, if you put $5, it's going to say, well, we're really going to charge you $5.50. And you're like, huh? Well, I would just want to pledge 5 bucks. Well, it's not going to be easy anymore. Basically, what play Patreon is going to do is push the fees onto the pledgees rather than onto me, like the content creator or the person you're pledging to. They're, they're saying the reason they're doing it is because they want us, the content creators, to get the most out of Patreon. So they're guaranteeing us 95%, meaning out of everything that's pledged to me, I will get 95% of it every month. Right now, it's weird. Right now, some months, I'll get, oh, you know, $1,250 pledged to Phil, and I get like 1100 and change, huh? And then another month, the same amount, oh, 1250 Phil made $1,200, huh? And it varies because it depends on how you pay, the transaction fees via how you pay, etc. And apparently what Patreon's Patreon is trying to do is make it more consistent for us so we know on a monthly basis what we're making. I guess what's been going on is there's been a mass complaint that people are complaining. It's so fluctuating every month. We can't even figure out how can we pay our bills or whatever when we don't know what we're going to make any month. It could go up or down or up or down. Even if we're making technically the same amount of pledges, it's varying every month. Now, listen, I totally get that. For me, Patreon is a supplementary income. What do I mean by that? I mean that Patreon is not my primary source of income. It's a It helps tremendously. It, it's money that goes to a good cause. I mean, 
Unbelievable. All the improvements I made in my office over the years, including this microphone I'm talking into, the soundproofing phone behind me, the capture software, everything I'm doing is all paid for by Patreon, uh, co- co- you know, donations and, and, and contributions. Um, but month to month, yes, the Patreon stuff helps pay the bills, but it's not the primary way I pay my bills. So for me, oh no, this month I made slightly less because the transaction fees were more. It doesn't really affect me that hugely. No lies because I need the money right now with this whole tax situation I'm in. I need the money. Other people I could see, if that's their primary source of income, it could, all right? So I haven't asked for anything like this. I think it's kind of silly. But the thing I don't like about this, Patreon apparently flipped a switch while I was on time off and said, oh, well, it's just on now. So now if you pledge to me this month, you have to pledge more money in order to actually get the... So, for example, let's say you wanted to pledge $5 this month because you want to get in on this monthly goal of the Mel Gear Solid Redemption Run, right? So you want to pledge 5 bucks to me because you want to be able to, to vo- uh, uh, vote on which game I'm going to be playing, Metal Gear Solid 2 or 3. Well, it's not 5 bucks. It's five bucks plus whatever the transaction fees are per what method you're choosing to pay. That's what you have to end up pledging in order to actually make the five dollar category. And I have no control over it, folks. There's no way for me to fix that. It just is what it is. Patreon has said it. We're going to change it. For me, obviously, the major concern right now, folks, this is being real talk with you. I need to raise a lot of money this month. I need to raise a lot of money this month because I need to pay these back taxes. I know you're lying. It's not even my fault, but it's reality, okay? So I need to raise as many funds as possible. I'm trying to get a drive on Patreon this month. Let's hit the, the stretch goal this month. So I'll do both Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 in January. Oh, by the way, if you're going to pledge to me this month, it costs more than ever. You see what I mean? How What great timing. And at all times, Patreon decides to do this during the holiday season when a lot of people are feeling giving and maybe want to pledge to more people than they normally do. And now, oh, now we're going to change the whole process. It's ridiculous. Why am I toxic? I still need your help this month on Patreon. Like, seriously, that's why I made this the goal. The Metal Gear Solid Redemption runs. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. I need your help. I need to raise as much as I possibly can. If we can hit that stretch goal this month, by the end of this month, I'll play both Metal Gear Solid games starting on January 1st. Oh my god. Like, I'm just so tired of this stupid shit. And I really want to do the event, but I don't want people to be deterred. Oh, so now if I have to pledge to fill some more, well, fuck that, and then everyone pulls their play. I can't have that. You know, this is so important to me. This is a month where literally I could get screwed over. Because Patreon decided to do this ridiculous sweeping change without actually asking anyone if they wanted it. I am really angry about that. And by the way, folks, if you didn't get wind, I already talked about this last week. Coming in 2018, I'm not using Patreon like this anymore. In fact, now that Patreon's making these negative changes, I refuse to use them like that. What I'm going to be doing is... My monthly events are going to be based more on Twitch-based things, like how many subs can I get on Twitch this month, right? In, adi- you know, in addition to other factors regarding Twitch, that's going to determine if I do these monthly events, like marathons and the like, or, or game playthroughs, special game playthroughs, and then people who pledge to my Patreon will be able to mold those events. So, for example, if I hit a certain number of a uh, goal of total subs in the month of January on Twitch, I'll do a special event, but those who pledge $5 or more on Patreon will be nominating and voting on things to take place during that event. Get it? Huh? It's, uh, please, don't let these new changes on Patreon, the fact that it's going to cost you a little bit extra money to pledge to me what you used to, please don't let that deter you from pledging this month. That's your fault. You created the monster, you unleashed the monster, and now your complaint is, well, the monster's too powerful to control. Well, fuck you, that's your fault. I just, I literally just saw my girlfriend leave, and I'm like, I have no idea when I'm going to see her again. Because she doesn't live, by the way, a lot of people speculate, she does not live here with me in Seattle. She has to travel to get here. And <clears throat> with my current situation, taxes and everything, I can't, aff- you know, I don't even know, number one, affording a trip, of me going to see her, her coming to see me. Number two, the fact that eventually, yeah, we've been talking about it. We, you know, we've been seeing each other for, for almost six months now. We really, you know, care for each other. And we want to maybe possibly in the future move in together. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to be in this house. And, you know, this house has been amazing. We've been here doing stuff together. We're like, man, wouldn't it be awesome if she had a job here and she was contributing with income and we were able to do stuff together or whatever. And, we're, and then we're like, man, we can't plan for any of that. It's just like, fuck. It's just like our whole future is uncertain, hinging on the stupidity of this fucking tax situation. Oh, I really hate you, but I cannot live without you if I try. I can't imagine life without you, ice cream. Uh, my girlfriend's supposed to be, uh, home by now, okay? She's supposed to be home by now. She's not, um, because of excessive delays from airlines today, uh, she is now stuck overnight at an airport 
uh, they canceled, well, they didn't cancel her flight. They, her, her flight was so ridiculously delayed that there was no way she was going to make her layover flight. And now she's stuck in an airport that she's only been to once before. Overnight, the next flight for her to leave is 8 a.m. Whoa. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm, what I'm hoping is that the airline, because they fucked up so bad, I mean, her flight is de was delayed uh, by over an hour. Uh, I'm hoping they're going to accommodate her and maybe even give her a free hotel room or something. What? Man, I'm stupid. Because that'd be pretty fucked up that they make the mistake. And then they tell her, oh, by the way, we're not going to do anything for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'd be real fucked up. I'll go, go sleep in that chair for eight hours, you know. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Mm. I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, Phil's a beggar. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.